meeting to order. Let me invite you to stand with us, and we will begin with a word of prayer, and then if you'll remain standing and join us in the Pledge to the Flag, please, I'm going to call on uh, Commissioner Kyle Adams to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this day, Lord, and just thank you for all the blessings that you give us. Just thank you for your traveling graces, Lord, on getting us here today, Lord. We just thank you for all those here today, and just thank you for uh, having people come out and take interest in county business, Lord. Lord, we pray that you're with us during this meeting, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you will, join us in the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Be seated. We're pleased to have all of you with us today. Appreciate your interest in the business of the county. Uh, your interest is at different levels. I know, uh, I think the sheriff's going to make some presentations shortly, and uh, many of you are here for that. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, first, we'd like to welcome to the podium Chrissy Duffy and uh, Maggie Jones. If you want to come with her, Maggie, or you can, uh, they want to talk to us about cleaning up our communities. All right, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you today. Um, I just wanted to keep you abreast of our um, agenda at the chamber and what um, our efforts are to um, promote a healthier, cleaner, greener initiative for um, our community. Um, I am a busy, hardworking mother of four kids, and when you think of Earth Day, I think some people kind of roll their eyes like, here we go. I am not a tree-hugging hippie, <laughs> but I'm talking about clean air and clean water, which are important to everybody and um, there are ways that we can accomplish cleaner air and cleaner water with just small behavioral mindset changes something that everyone and anyone can do and if we would all buy into that it would actually make a huge difference and so some of those just to give you all an idea of what we're pushing are um, reducing and refusing excess waste and I'm talking about this instead of a disposable drink cup it seems very simple, but um, drink cups, disposable drink cups, both you know the coffee cup with the lid and then the 20 ounce bottles are both major offenders in um, waste and um, roadside litter. And so um, that's as simple as refusing the disposable cup and bringing your own makes a huge difference. Um, also another major offender is the um, disposable shopping bags, the little plastic bags. It's about 100 million of those put into circulation every year and less than 5% are recycled. So, um, you know, bringing a reusable bag or if it's only a couple of items, just refusing a bag can make a big difference. Very simple, doesn't cost anything. Um, another um, part of our agenda is proper recycling. Um, our, the city of Andalusia offers a free recycling program. We conducted a survey just to kind of get an idea of um, participation and um, just how certain people were about um, what they could put in those recycling bags. Of the ones that we polled, about 50% said that they um, that said they didn't recycle, said they didn't recycle because they live in the county and not in the city. But I just want to make sure that people are aware that even if you do not live in the city limits, you can still pick up the green recycling bags and return them to the recycling center at Pro on Progress Drive free of charge. And so even if you don't live in the city limits, you can still participate in that program should you choose to. And then what goes in the bag beyond that, there, is, there was so much um, confusion from what I could tell from my survey of what can be recycled and what can't be recycled. And so we have a, uh, a recycle right graphic that we have come up with to try to help clear up those uncertainties. And that's able to be downloaded from our um, <coughs> Chamber Facebook page um, and also uh, going in our clean and green starter kits that we're working on. So we're gonna offer a uh, disposable drink cup Disposable, uh, reusable, not disposable, reusable drink cup, reusable shopping bags, the green uh, recycling bags, the litter trash bags, and the recycle right graphic in what we're calling our clean and green starter kit. We're going to have those available at the, um, at the chamber, and we're going to uh, distribute them at the chamber through local grocery stores. The 4-H group is going to help us in the distribution of that. Um, and the last thing, and kind of what I came to talk to you about today, is uh, proper waste disposal. And so, um, as I'm sure you are all aware, um, roadside litter is a major problem everywhere. We're not, you know, we're not the only ones plagued with this. 
it's a major problem everywhere. There's three major offenders in roadside litter. It's those that will just casually throw something out the window. And I don't know who these people are, but I'd rather like really like to get my hands on them, you know. So if you're one of those people, stop doing that. Um, and then there's um, those that, you know, dump large amounts of trash. Um, they don't want to go to the landfill, I guess. <coughs> you know, they, they're dumping. Um, also not okay. And then um, I think there's those that are the unintentional litterers, those that think they're doing the right thing by putting their trash in the back of their pickup truck or perhaps are hauling something and don't have it properly tarped. Um, and that's actually one of the, the major offenders in roadside litter as well. And so um, properly disposing of your waste, um, the back of the pickup truck is not going to hold it in. It's going to come out. So um, it's just not, um, not going to work. So with uh, Frank, who have? Uh, Frank uh -oh. Schaefer and the Andalusia Chamber of Commerce, the Op Chamber of Commerce, and ALDOT, we're putting together a roadside litter roundup for this Friday. We're encouraging any and all volunteers that want to join us in that. Uh, we're going to kick off about 8 o'clock in the morning. We're going to pick up as much roadside litter as we can. We are not going to accomplish very much. I'll just go ahead and be honest about that. It's a, it's a huge problem, and it's not something that we can tackle in a day. But what we do hope to gain through this <coughs> is awareness, because if you don't get out and see it for yourself, you just can't believe how much litter is hiding on the side of the road. And so um, you know, once, you, once you've done that, once you get that in your mind, you'll, you'll be so much more cautious in the future about making sure that it doesn't continue. So. Um, you know, through that, we have um, litter bags at the chamber that we offer free of charge year-round. So anyone that would like to join our efforts and just, you know, pick a mile, neighbor to neighbor, their own property, you know, if you want to pick up roadside litter, we will help you um, with any supplies and pick up or, you know, whatever we need to do to help in those efforts. So I'm just here to ask for, um, for your support and help me spread this awareness and, and kind of be a partner with the chamber on this initiative. So you're offering bags. I think I noticed recently that the op chamber is offering bags for yes. litter pickup as well. And I know Frank yeah. stepped out, but Frank, Frank has some too. Yeah, the EMA has bags that can be picked up here at this at this building. So we want to encourage uh, all of us, all of us in this room, plus those that uh, will hear hear about this you being here. We encourage them to join you. The commission has all uh, unanimously signed a proclamation to support your efforts. Uh, let, me, let me just read it so, uh, as a show of support. Whereas Covington County, Alabama is 1,044 square miles filled with many natural resources and places of great beauty, which we desire to see maintained for the benefit of generations to come. And whereas the Covington County Commission encourages all of our citizens to join us in protecting the beauty of our county by removing litter and debris regularly, but we especially encourage their efforts during this week that has been designated for cleaning up our roads and rights of way. And whereas these efforts being led in our county by our Chambers of Commerce and by Covington County's PALS, People Against the Littered State, with the full support of the Commission staff under the able leadership of the Deputy Director of our Emergency Management Agency, Frank Schaefer, who will provide logistical support supplies to any group or individual who expresses an interest in participating in the countywide effort now, therefore, be it proclaimed that the Covington County Commission hereby fully supports these efforts, and we direct the county's crew, road crews to work closely with Mr. Schaefer and to provide any and all support necessary to further the success of this cause day to day. So we adopt that uh, proclamation as a means of showing support and uh, encouraging folks to join you. I, I'm sure commissioners may have questions or comments that you'd like to make uh, while Chrissy's before us. Anybody? Thank you for your support. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Qu yeah, Sheriff. Are y'all meeting with Mr. Frank on Friday? Yes, I wish Frank would have been in here. He is. Um, he came in. Frank, um, are we going to meet at the same meeting? <coughs> <coughs> okay. 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 Okay
but it being Earth Day, Earth Week, um, we really do appreciate your support and su appreciate the support of everybody in the surrounding areas. Uh, anybody that can try to go and do some help out, I'm not sure if she mentioned about the theme days or not, but there's some stuff on the website, some stuff on their event page, so please just check it out, do everything you can. If you just put, pick up your property, then you're doing a lot. Yep. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Uh, we're under the awards and presentations segment of the agenda, so I'm going to call on uh, Sheriff Terman to come forward, and he has some, I think, presentations that he would like to make. I do. Okay. Guys, uh, it's important that we recognize our, our employees that do well. And it's also important that we recognize some of our volunteers that do well as, as well. Uh, I've put together several accommodations for some for some people that have really that have really just they really give it all, and uh, I just want to publicly recognize them. Um, this uh, this ranges from everywhere from our posse members to our corrections officers and, and deputies. Uh, this is a small token of, of my appreciation to them and uh, and the department's appreciation as well. Uh, and I'd like to, to read, 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 read a couple of these. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, the, de the Deputy of the Year. This is for 2018. Uh, I've known this guy all my life. He's from Ott, he's one of my Ott boys. And uh, he's older than I am and not near as good looking. <laughs> but, uh, but I think the world of him, he's a great guy. And uh, this is the, the Deputy Dwayne Helm. And uh, definitely be it known that uh, Deputy Dwayne Ham has so so well served the citizens of Covington County and the Covington County Sheriff's Department as to be publicly proclaimed as deserving praise and respect for exceptional performance as deputy of the Covington County Sheriff's Department. Deputy Ham has been instrumental to the successful operations of this department. His dedication to his community, co-workers, and the department are appreciated by all. Deputy Ham shall be recognized as Deputy of the Year for 2018. You want to give a little speech or anything? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me he's a, a three minutes. He's, 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 he's a man hey, of Dwayne, few words. Dwayne, he, he wants to get a photo quick, okay. please. Okay. Not quite ready when y'all were. Uh, these, uh, I had a, we have a reserve unit uh, in Covington County, and I'm telling you, if I could give an award to everybody, I certainly would. I had a hard time figuring out the the, the number one guy, so I come up with two guys. These two guys here uh, are constantly. Uh, assisting the sheriff's department in the day-to-day -day activities, whether it's uh, getting a cow out of the road or coming to a, a fatal crash scene. And uh, these two guys, they, they mean a lot to us, and uh, we just really appreciate them. And those are uh, Reserve Deputy uh, James O'Brien and De Reserve Deputy Justin Gant. You guys come up here. You know, a lot of times we think about we put them in uh, we put them in jail and, and we forget about them. Well, guys, uh, the office of uh, officers over there at that jail have a hard job to do. They really do. And there's one officer that has really uh, excelled this year. And uh, after speaking with supervisors and everything, uh, uh, he's really he has what it takes to do a good job. And that is uh, Officer Kenneth Dubose. You come up here. This one, we have a, uh, a sheriff's posse. Now, these posse members and everything, they're, uh, 
they're civilians, and, and they're always here at, at, our, at our beck and call. And this one particular, uh, I call it the Posse Comitatus, is, uh, is Deputy Chad Clark. Chad, and, and before you get up, let me explain to Chad. Chad runs our dog unit. We have uh, some uh, canines that come out and uh, they help find lost children and they help find uh, man hunts. The other day they ran one for over 24 miles, uh, which is, I, that dude was in shape. <laughs> but Chad, come on up here, bud, and uh, let me, let me uh, give you this statistic. Each year we have a uh, we have us a little competition when we do our annual uh, firearms qualification, and it was a pretty close run this year between uh, between two deputies, but one came out on top, and uh, he scored the high scores with the uh, with the pistols, and uh, we're just really <coughs> proud of him. Uh, he shows great skill and diligence, and it's obvious that he takes his job serious enough to, to stay practiced up with his uh, with his weapons. And that's going to be Investigator Joey Cato. <laughs> also, uh, with that being said, I wanted to recognize the uh, the Alabama State Lodge of the Fraternal Order of Police. Uh, we have applied for a, uh, a grant for 10 new uh, sets of body armor, and we did receive it. And it says uh, here on, in the letter, on behalf of the Alabama State Fraternal Order of Police, it is with pleasure that I inform you that you have been selected as a grant recipient in our body armor program. Uh, this letter serves as credit for 10 level two body armor provided by the Municipal and Commercial Uniforms Incorporated. And uh, we've made contact with them and we'll be having our, uh, our 10 deputies with the oldest vest come up here and, uh, <coughs> and get new vests. We'll also take the old vests and recycle them, uh, put new covers on them, clean them up, and we'll use them for our reserve program. Uh, we don't want to waste anything. So we'll make sure we, uh, we, we use that well. But. Uh, that's, that's my award presentation. All right. Thank you, Sheriff. Uh, any other comments other than awards that you want to make while I, you're there? I, d I do want to make a few more comments. Okay. Uh, uh, I've given each of y'all uh, my uh, what, what I've seen in the past 90 days. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's something I want you guys to look at and uh, read over and everything, and uh, I'm going to give y'all plenty of time when we talk about the next commission meeting. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Um, any other of our elected officials have comments or want to address the commission this morning? If not, uh, commissioners, you have uh, uh, under the consent agenda, you had the minutes for the April 9 meeting mail, emailed to you. You had a chance to review those and make corrections. So uh, if there's a motion to approve those minutes, that'd be appropriate. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. second. One. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Okay. The consent agenda items are approved. Um, we do have a lot of guests with us today, and I know most of you wouldn't want to stay here for the next 30 or 45 minutes or an hour. We'd be glad for you to. We welcome you, but we're going to take about a five-minute recess uh, so we can greet those that were made, uh, re recipients of awards this morning, and then if you need to slip out to get on to work, you can do that. We'll recess for five minutes.